this workout was primarily an explosive drill workout, and it's primarily meant to stimulate your body throughout each explosive process throughout all the combine phases. So when we're in a combine, the things that we are tested on primarily are our explosion, our strength, our speed, and our power. My workouts simultaneously, simultaneously hit all those areas and allow me to keep my strength, my power, my explosion, my speed, and actually my agility up at the same time. time lifts are meant to keep the explosiveness in my body, basically muscle memory. So if my, my body remembers that explosive movement, it's almost impossible for it to forget the strength that it has on tap. And I believe that if you do anything, you do it full go or you shouldn't do it at all. And it's been like that all throughout my life with athletics. It started in grade school when I wasn't the starter right out the bat and then working my way up through the ranks into a pro level or what we call professional or elite level athlete. I've learned that if you're not going to put your effort into it, you shouldn't be doing it. And just about every other guy that's there has its own purpose. And he or she is doing it for that purpose as well. I just hit it with everything I got. And that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I've recently been put on the Olympic Training Center's full out program, so now it has me training on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday to add to the list as well. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm actually getting a run in and I'm getting tempo work in with my midsection to develop my core. And on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're doing very heavy, heavy, heavy reps, and we're doing moderate weight based on the percentage scale of what your max rep is, and what, that's called a three rep best. So it's a, as much weight as you can lift three times with good form, and we'll take the percentages from that, and it's based off of three by 10 rep scheme. Those workouts will take me about an hour to an hour and a half. If I'm really pushing it, which you shouldn't, I should be able to complete all of those in about an hour, but I'm still within the second week of that workout in April, and this is gonna last from April all the way till June, and we're hoping to get some really good results from that program. I have to keep my focus because as soon as I derail from that focus, my performance slips, and that's just something I've learned about myself, that's something I've learned about my body, and it allows me to be a regimented person, but at the same time, keep up with my, my abilities and keep up with my level of professionalism in the sport so that I can compete when and wherever the sport takes me. I think I was meant to be a race car driver. Everybody laughs about that, but I'm one of these guys. I get excited about engines. I get excited about speed. I get excited about, you know, myself having little bitty hot rods, nothing special, but I'm just one of those people. I love to feel the speed and the adrenaline rush that you get for that. And for me, the next step was to try to, you know, get my body into a situation where I can contribute to that lifestyle and that mantra. And the way that I went about it was bobsledding. And, you know, it's been a wake-up call. It's a very dangerous sport. It's, it's something where you're putting your body on the line each day. You're actually taxing your body on way more than any other sport, in my opinion, each day with bobsledding. Because it's not like a contact sport in the sense that you're going up against another guy. You're actually going up against something that is out of the realm of your control. You have no control over the G's that your body's going to feel when you're bit in half in the back of the sled. You have no control on whether or not that sled topples over when you're going 60 miles an hour and slams up against the wall and you end up, you know, knocked out or worse. That's just one of the things that I had to experience, you know, firsthand. I got to four wrecks when I first went into this sport in 2010 and I experienced some of the, the bad sides of it and I went down without a burn vest, something that you're not supposed to do. But uh, it becomes addicting. You find a love for it. And I find that my athleticism, you know, is a great way to go about getting into bobsledding as well because if you have the power, if you have the explosion, you have the speed, you have the desire, you can go into a sport like this and succeed. You just need the training. Today's explosive drills were primarily consistent with how my body is going to adapt to exploding on ice or exploding out of blocks or exploding in any direction that I need to explode out of. And then I would go through an acceleration type phase where I'll have the weight on my back and you'll see me running, but as I'm running, I'm accelerating with that weight. And that just mimics putting weight in front of you and having to push that weight forward on ice. So anything that I can do to mimic what the training is that I go through in Lake Placid with the sled is what I get done here. And you'll see me pulling load, you'll see me dragging load, You'll see me doing things that kind of tell my body, you know what, this is the movements that you're going to be going through when you're trying to perform at your peak, and you need to keep your body in that state at all times. Now I've actually learned how to accelerate my body without the load, so I'm getting into sprints and things like that a little bit more. And it's just an experience that you have to go through each day. It's an inner desire, it's an inner drive as an athlete. I can't put it down. It's something that I don't know how to do necessarily. And it's just an addiction. I need to, to be athletic in my life. I need to be out. I need to be moving. 
and this is the way I get it done. I, this is my excuse. I mean, I'm competing in a sport that people are at the top of their game. They prove themselves year after year after year, and I'm the little guy on the totem pole right now, and I gotta, you know, find that inner drive and stay with it each day. But just to have people like my sponsor in my corner that's backing me, people that I know believe in me, those are the people, I guess you can say, that I do the sport for. And then it's myself, you know, not letting myself down each day, eating right, going to sleep when I need to go to sleep, getting in here, getting my workouts done no matter what. Uh, that's the kind of determination that I need to have each day, and that's what drives me as an athlete as well. It's not something that's easy by any means, and it's definitely not for everybody.